and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields. Did she? Okay. I know this is improper to do, but I'm trying to get out of here. I want to go out to the shootout of a soccer game. It's over. It's over. Uh, an important characteristic of any member of this body is to know when to talk and when to shut up. It's after nine o'clock. Oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't support it. But it's not. Again, it's not like you know. In other words, there's an emergency. There's a burning building. We have to put out the fire. I'm not going to have a conversation about the color of the buckets that the water is in. So let's uh, come on, guys. Let's wake up, smell the smoke. I feel a, a cold wind coming from the South. I, I was, I'm going to withdraw the amendment because I feel that chill coming and I don't want anybody else to get a cold. You got real problems when the sun isn't shining and if you're using solar energy. Uh, that when it comes to children, uh, from, my, from my standpoint, I'm like a lioness. I, it's just don't mess with the children. Mr. Chairman, I wanted to note for the record that Senator Coates out in the hallway found out he just had his 10th grandchild. <laughs> just for the record. And I heard he cried. <laughs> oh, very he, sexy. Oh, I didn't tell her that. A guy who cries over his grandchildren is very We like cool. that. That's Thank you. Thing. I agree. <laughs> it's another form of cartel. I think so. I think so. Oh, I, I think so, yeah. As a USC alum who spoke with uh, Pat Hayden just before this hearing, I'm pretty sure that we usually watch the Trojans beat Notre Dame on NBC and not on ESPN. Uh, first and foremost, we probably should start by pronouncing our state uh, the way the people in Nevada say it, which is Nevada and not Nevada. These are the times that try men's souls. I, I, would be, I would be glad for the members of this body to enroll in a science class. I'd also be glad for the members of this body to enroll in a world history class. A lot of people within the sound of my voice won't understand about what I talk, and that is having an emergency brake or a parking brake on a car. This is not about piglets. This is not about weather. This is just law. It used to be standard procedure. You would pull that out, and 99% um, of the time you would remember to release it before you took off. But sometimes you would forget. The bishops talk about a baby Jesus. And that car would still go forward. But it didn't go forward very well. In fact, you know, it could start smoking. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Um, so, emergency breaks. What does that have to do with us here this morning? I'll share with you every once in a while, the chairman and I agree on something. Uh, I call that lightning in a bottle. Um, maybe it's... Uh, um, Careful. Maybe the stars are aligning. I'm not sure on this one. Five million dollars a year. Now, my amendment would simply prohibit funds from going to this misguided. Uh, I believe at this time uh, we're going to have a colloquy uh, with Senator Brown. Okay, uh, it's not a, coll a colloquy, Mr. Chair. It's an amendment I'd like to offer and withdraw. We can call it a colloquy and I can talk to myself. Sarah Palin. What did Sarah Palin say? Just kick the can a little bit, not even down the road, but down the path a little bit. That's Sarah Palin. That's what she thinks. Now, I used to be on the street. You know, I was an advocate. I had the sign 30 years. Single payer, single payer, single payer. <laughs> Public option I never heard of. <laughs> single payer. I love baseball season. I don't go to games. I, ho I think I can go to one this Saturday, unless something comes up.